All right, so um, I had planned tonight to shoot a video with um, all the various combos of speed controllers and motors that I have. Now that I've got the Afro ESCs ripped out of the quad, it's um, a lot easier to see the wiring, and I just um, just powering the one speed controller right now. I'm showing you this test on this uh, 2200 kV motor. This is not the one that I fly with, but I'm hoping that I can send this whole thing to 3DR. So if they want it, maybe they can get to the bottom of this issue. Um, I can assure you it, the same thing is happening on my um, on my uh, T motors with the uh, 4S as I'm going to show you with 3S on the 2200 kV. So the worst possible um, results you can get are with the power module connected and the 5 volt line um, from the speed controller disconnected. And if I use this combo and do my, my little flick switch, you'll see the bad sync issues you get with it. So you can hear kind of grindy noise before it picks up speed. So I'm just going to connect the 5 volt line to the speed controller now. So now I've got the, uh, the 5 volt line connected to the BEC on the Afro speed controller. And this seems to make it, um, make it run a little bit better. So I'll rearm. Now it's better, but it's not perfect. You can still hear a bit of a grind before it picks up. So that's the, you can kind of hear the little quick little grind before it picks up speed. So now I'm going to just remove the power module entirely. So one moment. So power module is out, it's right here. So now I'm just powering the PixHawk from the BEC of the speed controller. Now for some reason this combo is fine. I can't detect any sync issues on the ground at least. I'll show you. So it's quite the riddle. Um, I'm going to uh, post this up and um, I don't know. I don't know what to say.